I'm Josh Williams from Gowalla, and you're watching Leap Year. I'm the screw-up everyone in the family is worried about. You're Aaron, the younger brother, the standard I've had to live by ever since you decided to drop into my life five years in all perfect. It sounds really dramatic, but you trusted me with my life. You don't have to worry. You're in good hands here. I did something bad, Liv. I stole the editor's phone number out of Scarlett's address book. What? She doesn't know. And if you fix it, she never will. Wait, how do you have an assistant without having any clients? Hey, Jill. Hey, what's going on? I was just talking about you. This is a business move. Don't make more out of it than it is. You know, you're right. You're right. This is nothing, nothing personal. What do you think it is? Let's open it and find out. No, no, no. Can't, can't we just wait and, and try and figure out what it is? I mean, because what if it says I killed a guy and, you know, I couldn't deal with that right now? Is that... A scenario I need to worry about. You can't tell anyone what I say in here, right? You're protected by attorney-client privilege, yes, but... I didn't. Okay, because it started to sound like you did a little bit. <laughs> I, I think I would remember something like that. No, I mean, I I have done some things, uh, and with that, I'm just not sure which... You know, we could save know. ourselves a lot of time if we just open the envelope. No, not until we know who's suing me. Nice day to skip work. Sorry, what's that? Oh, I said nice day to skip work. Oh, yeah. Is it still skipping work if you don't have a boss? Oh, one of my fellow unemployed? Yeah, well, no, self-employed. It's uh, all the glory, none of the benefit. Well, that's great. What do you do? I'm a recruiter. Who do you recruit? I match companies and potential employees, you know, kind of like a corporate Cupid. <laughs> You're funny. What's your name? Derek Morrison. I'm Anne. Hey. Here, I have something for you. You've been served. Have a nice day, Cupid. Like I was going to have a good day after that. Look, Derek, I don't really care if you want to waste $300 an hour guessing what's in the envelope. That's your right. The main thing is I want you to understand it's $300 an hour. Okay. Really? Mm hmm All right, I don't want to talk about money or bankruptcy or... Or the fact that I can't afford any of this. It's got to be the Jack thing. Jesus, woman, what are you, what are you doing? I trusted you! I slept with you! I, I said I'm sorry. I was desperate. How do you- Why don't you the... shut your big, stupid, desperate face? I'm fine, by the way. Nobody get up. I'm not leaving Jack. She is not leaving Jack. I can't believe you told her. Sorry, Jack, I had to stick up for my little brother. What's going on? I ran into Scarlett and Jack at lunch, and one thing led to another. And uh, did he, by the way, tell you how you got that column? It's a really funny story. He's my brother, Jack. God, Scarlett, I am so sorry. I didn't know that oh, you- You're the one! You must be my worthless hack of a protege. Thank you very much. I hope you're very proud of yourself. Scarlett, if we could all just calm down- Calm? Oh, I'll show you calm. Expect to hear from my attorneys, because I am suing you. That's right, all of you. Your partners, the building, your parents, your parents, Jack! I thought that went really well. I hate you. And? And Jack had taken the contact right out of Scarlett's address book. What my loan conjunction obviously failed to convey was I don't see the basis for a lawsuit, at least not against you. Now, can we... Yes, absolutely. Let's keep going. Uh, there is one more thing. Oh, my God. You stole your office, sir. Have you ever had a smarter sibling? I'm guessing not. Growing up, it's like, you know, it's like you're always competing and you're never winning. And, and now I have four smarter siblings and they're sitting right next to me and they're gloating because I can't even get a piece of junk mail or, or a return phone call from a client. And, and with this contest, I thought, you know, maybe I could win something for once. Yeah, I, I know this may seem like a therapist's office. I just thought, you know, I could set them back if they lost their data for a while, but I, I was, I was going to give it back. 
It's not that, Derek. But that is a crime, though, right? I mean, the, that I stole, I, I, I borrowed the, the server. Yes, it's an actual crime. But they wouldn't send a process server. They would send the police. Now, can we open this? Okay. Yeah? Yeah, what the hell? Do you know a Miss Winters? Hey, Jill. Hey, what's going on? I was just talking about you. I'm done with the forms. What's next? Great, great. So just file those um, and get on down here because I owe you so many thank you drinks, it's not even funny. Thanks. I can't. I gotta get home. That and I don't actually drink. If, if you don't let me buy you at least one, then I'm gonna fire you. That, that's really not funny. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, 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 fine. All right, now I'll see you on Friday. That's fine. All right, bye-bye. I was joking. Oh, well then obviously she is too. Do you think so? No. I don't understand how she could have taken it like that. She's a Mormon. Yeah, I'm starting to think that myself. A Mormon, Derek? Oh. All right, so, so Mormons take things a little more seriously than other people? She doesn't drink. You said you would fire her unless she drinks. Yeah, but I wasn't actually saying that. I know. That's what I'll try to prove. How much is trying gonna cost me? In a case like this, if we win, we're talking 50,000. Of course, we might not win. $50,000 and we might not win? Justice works in mysterious ways. Or maybe it was blind. Either way, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Well, what if we don't win? You would have to pay Miss Winters whatever amount the court thinks is appropriate. You could also settle. Settle, but I mean, if we settle, that's like I'm, I'm admitting I did something wrong. Look, Derek, let me put it to you this way. The reality is you can't afford either option. If you settle, you may have a shot of paying it off before your grandchildren go to college. Think about it. You, you may also want to consider seeing an actual therapist. I'm just saying, if I'm the captain of the ship, I have to go down with the ship. What? Oh my god, what? Rin, Jesus, what the hell are you doing here? You didn't show up to work today. Did anybody? No. Yeah, I guess none of us really want to see each other right now. You, me, Aaron, Derek, and Bryn are on five different career roads. Okay. And we're all headed towards one thing, Money. you know. Is Aaron your next stop? We can't do this without him. No, we can't. He doesn't want to talk to you. Thing is, Jack, I'm not really sure why I should help you. Are we competing? Are we making alliances and throwing each other under buses? Isn't no, that what we're doing? Aaron, no. We're no, not. not really, because I'm pretty sure you made those rules. You say hello like nothing is wrong. You say hello like nothing is tame. You say hello, hello, self control. You say hello, who needs more? Who needs more? Who needs more? Who needs Say